Hey everyone, today I've got something a little special for you. This is a storage minecart transporter. Um, basically, say you have a little mob grinder right here. You're collecting a bunch of items, but your base is way far away. Uh, you can go ahead and throw all the items into here, and once it fills up, it'll automatically shoot off and reload with an another minecart so you can do the same thing. Now, the minecart travels over here, or to where your base is, or close to it, and you can go ahead and collect the items, and it'll all pile up and then you can go ahead and flip this switch and it'll go back to be reloaded. This saves you tons and tons of trips and essentially it's really cool. So I'm gonna teach you how to build this right now. It might take a little bit but I'll try to go as fast as possible. Uh, basically what you wanna do is get your base block, put a block to the right of it and a block right here and what you're gonna do here is you're gonna want to put a detector rail on the center block here there we go put that right there and then you're gonna wanna get some sticky pistons now I might go a little all over the place because this does take a little while to build uh, you wanna put a sticky piston right here so it'll reach out and grab this rail and then you wanna put another one right here so it'll reach out and grab the block below it alright now after that you wanna go ahead and put a comparator right behind the block of where the storage mine cart will be Basically, when the storage minecart gets put on here, if any items get put onto it, put into it, uh, this will light up a redstone signal. But we don't want it to. We don't want it to do that right away. So basically, what we're gonna do is go down here, put a torch two blocks deep, and we want a signal of two pointing at this comparator, making it so it'll only send off or send a signal once it's nearly full. Now I'm doing two instead of one because if you fill it up all the way with a bunch of different items it might not fill up to 64's in each stack so you want a little bit of leeway and that'll give it for you so two blocks of power uh, pointing towards that comparator alright now basically what you want to do is place another block right there and put a torch on each side of it and now the first one is me uh, simply gonna go to the uh, first piston and this one's going to be a little bit more complicated you're gonna go ahead and put one little signal right there and you're gonna go ahead and put that repeater right there and then you're gonna go under the repeater and you're gonna need a slab for this because uh, there might be a torch underneath where you need to be going so you're gonna put a slab right there but first some redstone right under the block so it connects you're gonna want to invert that signal and then you want to come around to right here and I figure you only need about two ticks leeway here let me take a look over here real quick alright so I got the fully ticked repeater and then three ticks two ticks leeway yeah that's right three ticks excuse me alright so fully ticked and then three ticks and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and put a block right there and redstone right there so when that turns on it'll power this again now it won't power it right away obviously but basically what we're doing here and one sec let me just connect this Basically what we're doing here is as soon as the signal goes, we want this to detract first because if there's no block under it, it'll pop off. But basically, after that detracts, we want this to detract, the block under it, and then we want it to extend before this extends. So basically we want the rail to go back, then we want the block to go back and forth, and then the rail to go back. And basically this does it for us. What we're gonna do here is test it, and if it pops off, I'll apologize, I promise. And let's see what we got here. All right, there we go. He's, as you can see right there, it did not pop off, and that's exactly what we wanted. And then we can go ahead and surround this with a few blocks, and that'll do just fine. And now basically we're gonna wanna build a tube to hold the storage carts and what we do to do that is we go ahead and build the tube right around here now this is going to be a little tube right here and then basically we're going to back it off into another tube as you can see it's kind of a weird shape here but all we do is do a little tube here and then go up a few more and do another tube Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we 
we go. And you're going to want to build this as high as you want storage cards. Now, storage cards kind of stack in a weird way. So it's not going to necessarily mean three blocks high. It means three storage cards. But give it a little bit of leeway and you'll be all right. All right. So now we want a piston on the back block right here where the first storage cart will be sitting. And we're going to want to put the piston like so. So it pushes one storage cart and only one storage cart down to be loaded. OK. And basically, what we can do here is connect it to this redstone signal. Go up. And as you can see, that is right under. And this is going to ruin the block, but that's OK. All right. So now we're pretty much good, but we need to set up the uh, line that the storage cart will go down. And in order to do that, we're going to need some powered rails and a lot of redstone torches. And you don't necessarily always have to use power powered rails. The uh, rate at which you use rails is up to you, but this is how to hook it up down here. So you basically, basically you want to go under it and put a rail right there. And basically, you just want a down slope from where it will be dropping, so it will immediately go that way. Go ahead and power that with a redstone torch. Oh, we want powered right there. And then dig a few blocks over and start digging up. That's all right. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and use a bunch of powered rails. You don't necessarily have to. Do what works for you. But I need to get my minecarts over her. All right, now we're going to build up a few blocks because we want to drop the storage carts a little bit. All right, and then we can go ahead, and that's not quite enough room, so we'll go from right there. And then bam, 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 bam. All right, here we go. And then we're going to go ahead and do some more powered rails. We want a normal one on top, powered rail right there. Okay, and then just go ahead and power those. Now, basically, you want a block right underneath. And I don't believe I need a power drill right there. All right, that's okay. You want a block right underneath with a power drill right there. So basically, the carts can ba bounce back and forth and make room on the little track. You don't want it to be powered the whole way. Skip one block, and then you can load it up with one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go six spots for now. You want as many rails right here as you have mine carts. And now, basically, what we're going to do is get another sticky piston going right here. And basically, it's going to push a block right in front of where our mine carts want to go. So, mine carts are going to want to go down here. Well, they're not going to be able to because there's going to be a lever in the way. And you hook that up like this. I might be getting a little in my own way here. I think I'll be okay. Let me just block that off. There we go. All right, so now basically when you flick the switch, this will all turn on, it'll get out of your way, and you can send them off to where you want them to. And basically where you want to get them to is up here, and you want to have a downward slant into this little tube, and they'll stack on top of each other as long as you don't do it too fast. That might mess things up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get a line going back up there. And I'll show you when I'm done. And then there we go. Give it some leeway. And then we're going to go ahead and add all the carts or the uh, tracks. And I'm just overusing power rails, of course. You have to do whatever is good to your situation. All right, now I think it's about time that I can load this up. There's a few ways to load it up. You can either go up here and start dropping storage mine carts in. Or you can go down here and just place them. Or you could start placing them in here. Uh, one more thing before I finish though. If you want to manually send off these storage carts, you want to just put a button right here and you'll notice that that comes to right here you just want to make it turn off these torches there you go easy as that alright so I'm gonna go ahead and put my storage carts right here now keep in mind that 
since this is kind of a weird slant it might get stuck and come back a few times that's okay uh, hopefully yours is going downwards but we'll see how it goes so as you can see they're not going you want to be able to get close to them so you can give them a little nudge and I'll send them off for you now you see this one got stuck just like that problem I uh, just stated but now they're all stacked up in there you might have a stacking issue it looks like they're okay and you go ahead and press your manually replace button and you get one storage minecart now you go ahead and manually replace again and you get it again and as you can see it comes over here and as I send the next one it'll go and push this one forward until it has its own spot on the rail and they'll keep doing that alright I'm gonna go ahead and show you this in action on my other server alright as you can see here I am in my skeleton farm I have a skeleton spawner over here and I go I can go ahead and put items in here now I'm gonna show you how this is automated and excuse the lag right here lagging just a little bit alright so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna load this thing up with boats because I don't really have anything else alright let's see what I got here how many boats can I fit in my inventory not that many alright so load this thing up with boats and as it gets towards the end of the uh, chest it should go ahead and send off automatically and that is the beauty of it alright come here boats should be enough went ahead and sent off automatically and that broke my rail for whatever reason that's okay alright and then as you can see I will go ahead and ride all the way back to my base here and I have a little uh, station set up to where I can collect all my stuff now it's really nice as you can see all the carts have made their way up onto here these are all empty for demonstration purposes but as you can see I can go ahead and collect all my boats throw them over into my chest room way over there and then I can go ahead flick this switch give it a little boost I'll all go to get reloaded. That is the beauty of it. So I believe that's about it. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw it in the comments. I appreciate uh, you guys watching. Go ahead and give the video a like if you thought this was awesome, because I think this is like one of the coolest things I've ever come up with. And that's about it. Thanks everybody for watching. DG7Fender out.